Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. Rahul takes a sum of 3100 as a loan. He has to repay two equal installments. The rate of interest is 20% compounded annually. What is the percentage of principal amount taken by Rahul is total interest paid by him. So total interest paid by him is what percentage of the principal amount they are asking. So let's see how to solve. Rahul takes a loan of 2,310 uh, rupees. So the principal that he took is 2,310 rupees. And this is compound interest. And he is going to pay in two equal installments. We do not know installment uh, amount. How much was that? So let us just imagine installment amount is some X. And he is going to pay into two equal installments. And the rate of interest is 20% per annum. So two equal installments means he is going to pay for two years. Two years. Okay, so now we need to identify first what is the interest occurred. Then we need to identify the interest is what percentage on the principal. So let's see how to solve. There is actually a formula for installments. That is P into 1 plus R by 100. How many installments he is paying here? 2. That means it is for 2 years. So here number of years is 2. So P into 1 plus R by 100 whole square is equal to X plus X into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of 1. If it is 2 here, here first X is fixed. And here only 1 should come. For suppose if it is 3, then 1 more should come. X plus R by 100 whole square. If for suppose this is 4, then the formula will become x plus 1 by r by 100 whole cube. If it is 4 here, here 3 should come. If it is 3 here, 2 should come. Like that we are supposed to take. Now here it is just 2, that means only 1 should come. So this is a fixed formula for the installments. This is the fixed formula. So you know the principle. Installment is nothing but x and rate of interest is 20. So let us substitute 2310 into 1 plus 20 divided by 100 whole square is equals to x plus x into 1 plus 20 divided by 100 whole to the power of 1 which is just nothing. So let's ignore it. So as TCS is having on-screen calculators, this will be easy for you to calculate. Yes. So you can easily do it by using your on-screen calculators. 2 divided by 10 is nothing but 0 0.2. 1 plus 0 0.2 means 1.2. 1.2 square means how much? 1.44. So 2310 into 1.44 is equals to x plus. This is 1.2 into x. That implies 1.44 into 3, uh, 2310 will be uh, this will be 2.2x will be equals to 3326.4. So value of x will be equal to divided by 2.2. So this if I divide with 2.2, I'll get value of x, which is 1,512. So 1,512 rupees is his installments that he is going to pay. Each and every uh, one, uh, two installments he is going to pay. So that particular amount is nothing but 1,000, uh, 1,012 rupees. So he is going to pay 1,012 rupees. Okay, so two installments he is paying. So one time if I pay 1,012 rupees, again I am paying 1,012. Uh, 1, 1,512, sorry, 1,512 rupees. Again, I'm paying 1,512 rupees. Second time also, I'm supposed to pay. Yes, second time also, I'm supposed to pay it. So overall, how much is the amount I has paid? 1,512. 
plus 1,512 means 3,024 rupees I could have paid two installments. One installment is this much. Two installments means this much I have paid. So actually I took 2,310 rupees but now I am paying 3,024 rupees. That means what is the interest occurred? The interest occurred is nothing but 714 rupees. So they are asking interest occurred is what percentage of the principal? So, 714 is the interest and the principal is 3, 000, uh, 2310 rupees into 100 will give us the percentage, which is 30.9 percentage. Option D, 30.9 percentage. So, it is what percentage of the principal? It is 30.9 percentage of the principal. Option D is the correct answer. Okay, option D. So, first by using the formula of installments, we are going to identify how much is the installment that he is going to pay. One time if he pay 1,512 rupees, two times he will pay 3,024 rupees. He took this much, he paid this much. Means this is the interest occurred. So, interest divided by principal into 100. 30.9 percent is. Option D is the correct answer. This is how the installments problems will be solved. Sometimes they will just ask you what is the installment that he is supposed to pay. So identify the letter cluster that does not belong to the group. So let's take D E 19, F H 30, I L 45, M Q 64, R X 63 and X D 62. So first what we will do, we will give the alphabets and the numbering. That means A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. As per this, we'll give the alphabets and their numbers. Always remember this to solve any kind of questions that belongs to letter series. This really helps. So let's give the numbers. D is 4, E is 5. E is 5. So if you just do 4 plus 5, it is just 9. 9, but here it is 19. I would like to use these numbers to get 19. But somehow, 4 plus 5 is just 9. But here it is 19. I can say 9 into 2 plus 1 is 19. Maybe most probably. We are not saying this is the exact closet. But we can think 9 into 2. We got the sum as 9. 9 plus 10 if I take this might not work out. This is 6 and 8. 14 plus 10 should be 24 not 30. So 9, plus, 9 into 2 is 18 plus 1. 19. So maybe they could have taken the sum into 2 plus the number plus 1 or plus 3 like this. So let us check this also. Uh, 6 plus 8, 14. Yes, so let's check whether this is going to work out or not. 14 into 2 is actually 28. So it should be 6 plus 8, 14 into 2 plus 2. Into 2 plus 2 is 30. Yes, that work out. So next one, sum into 2 plus 2. So let's even verify this one. So this is uh, 9 and 12. So 9 plus 12 is 21. 21 into 2 is 21 into 2 is 42. 42 plus 3 is 45. So perfectly correct. 9 plus 12. So we are just going to give the alphabets and then numbering. And then what did it? Into 2 plus 1. Into 2 plus 3. Into 2 plus 4. Like that it is supposed to be. So let us verify the remaining which is the odd one. Uh, so 13. 13 plus 17, it is 30. 13 plus 17, 30. 13 to 2, 60. 60 plus 4, 64. This is also correct. And what about this one? 18 and 24. So 18 plus 24 is 42. 18 plus 24 is 42. 42 into 2 is 84. 84 plus 5. It is supposed to be like this. 84 plus 5. That means 18 times should be the value, not 63. So, which is the odd one? Option A. Even let's check this also. 24 and 4. So, 24 plus 4 is 28. 28 into 2 is uh, 56. 56 plus 6 is 62. See, satisfied. 56 plus 6 is 62. Everything got satisfied a part of this one. So, this is supposed to be 89 actually, not 63. So, which is the odd one? Option A is the odd one. So, whenever you had letters like this, always the letters number will help you to solve the problems easier. So, always remember the letters numbers, numbers of these letters. So, whenever we use them, it will be easy for us to solve the problems. So, what's the answer? Option A. Option A is the correct answer.
I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.